If you want to have the ride of your life, make sure you're at the next Hankook Extreme Festival, because there is lots to see and do, including some tanks with GoPros on it. But we head into the Goldwagen Super Hatch now, proudly brought to you by Goldwagen and Northern Bolton Tool. And to see what the plans are for 2014, we caught up with the current champion. Looking at the way you've landed up here, not quite where you want to start. I must say, yeah, we had a bit of unfortunate at Midvale, so it puts me in six, so, but we'll see this year. We sold the car, so we're trying a new car. Out. This is just for this race, and the next race we'll have something different. Certainly looking forward to seeing what they're going to be bringing for the next race. That man's going to be a tough man to beat. Current Class B champion, Robin Kruger, back into the field, and another lady driver who started her career here, went on to other things and came back to play for some more. Going to be joining Mel. Mel's changed up and gone to Class C this time, and she'll be joining me in the commentary booth for this racing action as we head into Turn 1, BMW Adrenaline Corner, and wow, what a start! Oh, out of shape already! Is this how we're going to start the season, Mel, like we ended last year? Oh dear, that was James Fuller and Peter Lotta. Luckily, nobody harmed, race kept going, and we can all go racing. And that's exactly what's happening here as we go on board with Brett Garland down the back straight towards Cashel Edge Corner, closing in on Louise Joubert. She, of course, now stepping out of Class C and into Class A for the first time. And that's a big step up. You would have been there. You've gone back again and decided to go and play with the, the guys at the back end of the field. But wherever you are in Super Hatch, you're going to get a dice. You're going to have a job. There's no doubt about it. Always. Doesn't matter where you are in the field. Here we've got Robin Kruger looking up the inside of Vanna Peterson, another newcomer to Super Hatch. Lovely to see him in Super Hatch. Really top quality driver, has been in golfs all the time that we've been talking about him. He's in a golf one now, and it looks like he is really threatening some of the top contenders in this class. Robin has had some season campaigns in this particular category and certainly knows her way around this track and is now looking to uh, possibly keep up the rest of the field. But there is some big action in the background as Hilton's looking for a way through. You can see in the background there Chris Davison being forced wide. Mark Detroit so far back and check out Baby Blue up there with the Class A cars. Baby Blue's leading Class B, which behind him is the two Connick brothers, both in their Northern Bolton Tool Peugeot and VW Golfs alike. Yeah, Jono was saying that he wanted to win out the day's racing, but we'll wait and see what the results are at the end. There's certainly going to be no love lost there between Jono and Stewie Connick. But there's no love lost here either. Garland looking for a way past. Kruger is hanging on for dear life. And I tell you something, Robin Kruger is not going to be an easy lady to find a way past on. I've seen it in, in the engine Volkswagen Cup and all the categories she races in. She is certainly a top, top contender. She certainly is very consistent as well. A little bit of a bounce of the car there. But Brett is very close on her tail. Yeah, but look how far she went. That's how hard she's pushing into Castle Edge. She ran right onto the exit point. Now on the brakes. Oh, Garland goes on the inside. Looks like he's got it. Yeah, I think Rob will give him a little bit of room there to allow him through. But she won't give up the fight, that's for sure. And closes in on the Jonas Way man in the Steam Sure combustion car. Bit further back here. How nice was it to be back in this little battle, huh? Um, interesting. It's very busy at the back of the field. And of course, we've got loads of cars still trying to get through from turn one incidents. So class B and C is heavily mixed up right now. Welcome to my world. <laughs> this is how I feel every time I go racing. You always shout at me because I'm not at the front. I don't want to be at the front. I want to be in that pack. It's so much fun. Right, as they come out of turn two, next con corner. Looks like Yucca having a little bit of issues there, falling a bit by the wayside. Baby Blue still leading out in the Class Bs. He has the Class C action. Remember Baby Blue, Nick Martin. And this is Mona Himon and his teammate from Action 4. Oh, and out of shape in turn four. Yeah, we never say anything happens in turn four, but Peter Pinot will disagree, and it looks like a couple more drivers having to take evasive action here. Yellow flag should be waving, and fortunately, wow, that was very close. The 61 car there of Tony Himes just missing out on uh, the big black golf. It's checkered flag time, though, and Garland is about to come through to take the first one of the season. He comes across the line and finishes up ahead of Robin Kruger and Samuel Kerber, of course, a new man there. But Mona Himon's going to hang on for Class C honors, beating out his teammates in the laser, the two of them crossing the line there for Class C. That's the way we do things in Goldwagen. Northern Bolton Tool Super Hatch. Garland, Kruger, and Peterson, the top three. A little bit further down there, a super effort there from Jaco Creel. He's ahead of Luis Jaber. Nick Martin wins out Class B. We've seen some sideways action, not only here on the kart circuit, but also on the main circuit in the Goldwagen Northern Bolt and Tool Super Hatch. Race two coming up. On board with Garland as the lights go out. Good start here. And as they head down into turn one, looks like Robin Kruger, but a water start from Peterson. Werner Peterson's going on the left-hand side of Mark Detoy into turn one. Oh, and a big tap here. What is Garland doing? Turning in on Hilton, forces himself wide. Robin Kruger, fortunately, just missing out on that action, but Garland has dropped wide back. That's because of the incident he caused, probably by his own driving there. What is he doing turning in so early? There was a Peugeot on your inside, Brady. I'm not quite sure what you're thinking there. Davison's around the outside of him now as they come through the rest of the pack. I can tell you something, that's not the way you want to be starting a Class A uh, contention of uh, possibly getting to the front end of a championship. 
And Class B, it looks like, uh, well, a little bit of a sandwich in the Class B's Jeff Tugwell is back on track. We didn't see him in race number one, but it's Ishmael Beloy that leads things out there in the black and orange Honda. And not this one that we're looking at right now, the one a little bit further back. Right, I can tell you, this is how we start things out for race number two. Heading up onto the top of the hill, Chris Davison going to have to go defensive. The Honda looks dangerous on the inside. Has he got what it takes on the brakes? Robin Kruger doing a great job there on the camera work. But on the outside, you can see, there you go, Garland sneaking through on the Super Boss. But I think Davison might just give him oh, a bit of a run for his money here through Kenwood. Unfortunately, he loses out a little bit and now has to come back fighting from behind. At the front, though, Van Peterson, what a start, eh, Mel? He had a fantastic start. Him and the two Super Boss boys at the back end of Class A reckon they launch better, but I think Vanna just outdid them without one. Yeah, how was that little Golf one at the front end again? It's nice to see the Volkswagen product. We've seen a dominance from Honda and Peugeot for a long, long time. There were a few Golfs originally. There's a couple of Audis that I think are still coming on their way, but uh, we'll wait and see a little bit later on. Here is Class C, and in the thick of it is uh, Peter Lotta. It's our first race spinner. He spun out through Turn 1. He managed to get through there a bit easier. Here's a change up for Class B. And it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Yes, Ishmael Beloy fighting hard. But man alive, I don't know what Nick Martin has done to that baby blue car of his. It is on rails around here. Nothing. It's exactly the same. Going very well. There's Robin going past Hilton. And he has Brett coming through onto the back of Robin. Hilton, I think, just maintaining uh, as much as he can in terms of points collection that he can get over the two races here. Because there are big plans, I believe, to go uh, into a Citroen and possibly into a 208 GTI by the end of the season. So I think this time out, he's won the championship. He's now consolidating, trying to develop a new car and then going to be in the hunt again. Which is fantastic for Superpatch. It's always nice that the guys try and bring something new, a little bit more variety. And that's what makes everything so much closer. The manufacturers against one another. I can't wait till he gets that car sorted out so I can go play in the 207. Oh, a battle for Class C on a slot for grabs here. That's one of the old cars out of ASAP and still being helped out there. The Northern Bolt and Tool Peugeot of uh, Koenig and fighting with Spicy. First time back and he's already in the thick of it. Loving life. Spice was doing very well, as is Michael McKillop in the Toyota Taz, who's actually joined us. He's from Zimbabwe. A Taz? It's awesome. <laughs> oh, looks like there's a bit of damage on the front end of Garland. Hmm, seen that a couple of times. Here's another new man. We mentioned him earlier on, just uh, being pipped to the line and... Whoa! looping it out at the next gone corner not the way to do things there but Sam Khaba I'm sure will be back nice. and gets it going really nicely good driving though he certainly will he comes from drag so he's still got to get the hang of things with the corners but he'll be fine yeah, he doesn't know how to turn left or right yet but he's getting there he's getting there there's no doubt now back on board with Garland Honda side by side Detroit trying to squeeze him out here Ooh, this is going to get real between the two of them on the brakes but Garland I think just having the edge there and the inside line so he moves up into second place now He'll have to work hard to get away from Mark and to catch Vanna Peterson, though, who's leading right now. Check how hard this lady's working. Man alive. So smooth. Buttery smooth from Robin Kruger. Super to see some onboard action from her. Sitting in fourth place on the road at the moment. And here comes a move from Mark to Toy going on the inside. Oh, oh, I thought that might be happening. Little tag between the two Hondas. And yes, indeed. Double waved yellows just to warn all the other drivers that the Toy has spun out. But there was a touch between the two of them. Golden now in second place on his own for a long gap. Down to third place. Class B pretty much wrapped up. No worries whatsoever here for Nick Martin. And magnificent driver as always. And he's got uh, one lap to go to uh, maintain a double on the day. How's this battle for Class C though? Really awesome stuff. Mona Human, Neil Buerta, Peter Pinar, Tony Himes, all fighting out for Class C honors. The two action forwards though look like they are the class to beat in Class C this year. They certainly are. With the teammates, they're doing exceptionally well. Monet is super quick. Doesn't matter where we go. Certainly is. He knows how to get a car around a track. You see that Nick Martin does too. He's still hanging on. Just behind him, though, another new man. In fact, first time out ever for Anton Otto. Well done, young man, and looking forward to more of the same out of you in that golf one of yours. Welcome to Super Hatch. Werner Peterson. What a way to start his campaign in Super Hatch. Second race on the day goes to Peterson and the Peterson Racing IDG car. Volkswagen Golf back at the top of Class A. No worries for Baby Blue here. Nick Martin, yet again, dominant in Class B. Coming from the back of the field, and uh, yep, oh, a little hoot there for Henny the flag as he comes across the line. Class C honors are going to be going to uh, Mona Himan. Here he comes across the line now, but he was fighting hard there with Stewie Koenig from the Class Bs, and he beats out his teammate Neil Buerta for second. There's top five honors Peter Sir from Garland and Kruger in the top three. In sixth place, a great effort there from Louise Joubert, Yaka Creel, Mark Detoy, Nick Martin, and Fuller. Of course, coming into this category, very competitive, but uh, you're back to your old winning ways again, bud. Yes, we have to uh, uphold our traditions, so yeah, we'll get there. Nick, you just stuck to the old winning ways, buddy. Nothing wrong with Baby Blue, she seems to be on rails. But if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. 
If she's winning, we leave her alone. We're just some tender loving care. <laughs> she, the car's been awesome. Her Rex different gearbox done a fantastic job for us in the off season. The car's on rails. Join us off the ride for more Formula B action.